get a swig here. I know you guys are busy today. We just got back uh, running a couple of errands to get some things to together for Easter weekend. And it is, it, it's like the day before Christmas Eve. Uh, it is insane. So I have no idea. I know we're going to do, we're going to, I'm not going to, I'm going to make this, I'm going to try to make this one a little bit short. That means like 45 minutes and six hours. <laughs> So anyway, I wanted to pop in just real quick. I actually filmed a video, and I'm going to be honest with you guys. Are you mentally exhausted? I am just like worn out. I, I, I am just like, it is, this is a holy day, and I am looking at my phone going, holy moly. Don't you just get sick of all, all this stuff and all these ding-dongs, doing all this ding-dong stuff? <laughs> What are you going to do? I, I am, Ruth, Miss Ruth, I am, my brain is, I, I'm just like, blah, 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 blah. I am. Somebody asked me, they're like, I want you to tell, somebody wants me to talk about what I think about all this uh, stuff going on with businesses and woke stuff and all this stuff. So you'll probably get a little bit of that. And I'm probably going to have somebody hate me. Doesn't matter, it doesn't matter what you say. Somebody's got something awful to say about you, right? I know. So we're letting a bunch of people join in, and I hope you're doing good today. I'm going to run back out after dinner. I think I'm going to go to the Dollar Tree. <laughs> I made my vanilla extract. I need to get me some. You know those little doodilly bottles that I got for a dollar twenty-five at the Dollar Tree? They're like six bucks at Ingles. I went. I was like, Sh I have to go back out because one of my kids has a, a special project. We're, we've got to make a dye. I'm like, it's Easter weekend. Why are we having to make a dye out of flowers right now? We're supposed to be coloring eggs. <laughs> it's, so anyway, he was like, can you go see if they've got the this like the he needs like a mustard like a mustard bottle. You know what I'm talking about? You know, I don't know. So I I think I'm going to see if the Dollar Tree or maybe Dollar General has them or something like that. I told him I would I was running out, so I was going to look that look that up for him. He's writing a paper. On the Battle of Campbell Station. You know you do good when your children... <laughs> I've done good. That's what homeschooling does. Listen. Guys, I could say so much. I just... We could say so much. And it's so exhausting, isn't it? I know. It's like... It's like I put this up the other day. I'm like, what... What verse in Revelation are we in today? I mean, isn't it... It's all a distraction, guys. You, you know, I, it really, the kitty cats are sleeping in the barn right now. It's raining. We've got, it's very, very, it's, it's barely 50 degrees. It's been raining. The, the cats are, they're like, we ain't got nothing to do with y'all today. So anyway, but, so guys, nothing should surprise you anymore. Okay. And see, when I say this, I always have, it, it doesn't matter what I say because somebody's going to find fault with it or somebody's going to take it out of context. And I'm going to tell you right now, I don't have the energy right now to spare, to fight with people that want to be in a fight with someone else, including me or anybody, because you better be mocked in with your hair on fire preparing your house. Do you see what Jamie Dimon said? Have you heard of J.P. Morgan? Yeah, like he's pushing to take, like, listen, if the dollar, we're talking about dollar collapse. We're talking about hyperinflation. We are talking about people actually trying to push just the, just to say it, the whole idea of coming and, uh, you know, taking your land. And I, I just sit here and go, okay, should I fight? A, should, do I need to worry about Lord, tell me what to worry about today. What, what, what am I going to fight? And my answer to a lot, one of the smartest people I know in terms of dealing with all of these things, they say, we don't agree with any of this, but we're going to pray and we're going to take it back to preparing because something's coming and I am not getting distracted. That doesn't mean you don't stand firm to your convictions doesn't mean you don't stand up for your children, doesn't mean, but I'm saying at the same time, 
stand back for a second, okay, and understand this is not going to tone down. <laughs> And when you are, when you are, when people are sitting around worried about who's promoting Budweiser and who's drinking Budweiser and who is Budweiser promoting, you know, that's time you could be spending making hamburger soup and putting it in canning jars and putting it in the canner. Now, I ain't putting you down because I know you need to be aware of things. I'm all for that. But at the same time, at some point you go, I realize that I need to basically become very unworld, unworldly right now. And um, I have got to be mocked in with my hair on fire because I don't know what's coming exactly when. We could come up with a lot of situations right now, but I'm gonna know I did my best to prepare. You have got to reserve your energy for the fights that matter. I ain't worried about who drinks Budweiser a day. No offense. <laughs> If you don't like what a company is doing, if you don't like, or, I mean, if you knew, if you knew your boyfriend was cheating on you and uh, was lying about you and doing all these things, if you hang around that hot mess, it's your fault. <laughs> I, that's the way I am. I'm like, well, why are you going there? Why are you hanging around it? You don't like the way the school system's treating your kid today? Why aren't you pulling them out? You just get to a point where you go, well, then don't buy it. Let the free market work, people. Let the free market work, people. If enough people go, <laughs> oh, oh, surprise me with something else today. Won't be drinking Budweiser. All the folks down in Lynchburg, Tennessee. <laughs> yeah, Jack Daniels, I guess, well, guess we're going to have to find something else to make our medicines with. It's not funny, but I'm, I'm just like, James gets mad at me. I have to say, he's like, you laugh at everything. I'm like, that's the way I deal with stress. It's just stress. And if I don't laugh, I'm going to explode. So it's just like you go, well, there you go. Okay. You know it? Right. Oh, yeah. Just get you some, get wild turkey. Yeah, get you some wild turkey. But listen, focus, focus, focus. You're being distracted. I'm being distracted. I'm not telling you to accept things. I'm saying, look at it and go. That's a pile of horse crap. And I am going to go get beanie weenies today because the Lord's going to come back one of these days. And <laughs> you know what I'm saying? So there's a lot of going, a lot of goings on and you have to pick and choose your battles. You only have so much time in the day. You only have so much levels of stress that you can handle. And there is only so much your brain can handle. Don't let this be an energy suck for you. I'm not saying to accept what you don't agree with. I'm saying don't participate. I'm saying don't participate. If I was on a swim team, hate my guts. If I was on a swim team and they had a dude coming in, well, I'm, I'm getting, I'm taking off my clothes and I'm putting on my little bathing suit and, and I got a dude standing there. <laughs> Guess what? I won't be participating on the swim team. That's how I am. This is Patera speaking, okay? Uh, I am not, I'm serious. If somebody goes, if, if everybody said, yeah, well, you know, um, our daughters aren't going to have, we ain't going to worry about it. Our kids, our daughters aren't going to have a golf team this year. We're going to do a private thing, privately outside the school instead. For, so our kids will be participating in a sport, but it's not going to be sponsored here at the school. And we have our own rules. And um, we're not participating. Then guess what? Why are you battling teachers and principals at schools? Why are you? Wh why pull your kid out of the schools? I, I, I just, I just keep going. I just keep having these like V eight moments. I'm like, so now you, now you figured out uh, what Bud Anheuser Busch is doing. Um, is this the first time they've been doing that? Doesn't matter. Well, he, whether they are or whether they have or whether they're not, you now know. So now I guess you need to start making moonshine. I see what I'm saying. <laughs> you see what I'm saying? So for everybody that's out there like saying, I want to know what you think about these things. This is how I, this is how I think about it.
This is how I think about it. Stop participating. I'm not telling you what to buy. I'm not telling you where to shop. I'm not telling you what to do. I'm answering the question to what you have brought to me today, several of you saying, what do I think about this is what I think. No. Nope. Okay. I pulled my kids out of school long, 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 long time ago. You know what? If there's, unless I have to go to a certain place to shop, I don't go there. It's just, it's really simple. It's really easy. It's really, really easy. Don't let these things steal the joy that you do have and do not allow it, this, these things and them things and them are things to take your energy. You're not going to have the energy to prepare. All the while, everybody's got their panties in a bunch over Jack Daniels right now. I'm sitting here going, I get it, and I appreciate you speaking. Now, let's talk about what does your pantry look like today? Have you paid off your Discover card yet? How you doing? Are you Put yourself back in check. God's going to handle every bit of this, y'all. God's going to handle it. God's going to handle it. You just don't, just, I'm not saying you have to pick and choose. You have to pick and choose. Please understand me when I say this. You have to pick and choose. And for anybody that wants to take anything that I say, like some people have done in the past, and say that I am in agreement with things, uh, no, I'm not. I'm. But what I'm not going to do is to tell you, stop doing this and stop doing that. What I'm going to say is, you already know the deal. You are an adult. You should be an adult. This audience is supposed to be an adult. So you make the decisions. If you make the decisions that go against your moral fiber, you answer to, to God, I, that's your personal deal. I, I know what I do and what I'm going to continue to do. And so we all have to be, um, you know, making those decisions. That's where I come, that's where I say, that's like me, you know, I don't tell you to buy certain things. I don't. I tell you to prepare. I tell you to think about buying these certain things, but I don't go tell you to. I'm not. I'm not gonna sit around and tell, have somebody tell me tell me what to do. No, I can respect somebody giving their opinion and their thoughts and what they're doing, and then I go. I'm an adult. What do I think about these things? How was I raised, and what does Jesus expect of me? Okay, that's that's what I'm saying. That's what I'm saying. Absolutely, you should try everything right now in your power to be prepared. Um, you know, there's just a lot of, th they're talking, I heard, what was it last night? Who was talking about it? Or was it today? Um, gold, they're saying, could bounce up already to $2,300 an ounce, and they're looking at the new bar being $3,000 an ounce. Folks, if that doesn't tell you what's going on with the dollar, so let's bring it back, let's bring it around town, bring it around town. There's a lot of things going on right now, and I'm concerned that people are getting so distracted by so many things that they're not they're not focused enough. And and we're all guilty of that. I'm not I'm not bashing you. I am too. I have to stop and go, uh-uh, nope, 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 no. Nope. I got it. I got the memo. Okay. I got the memo. Now I know what I need to be doing. Let's focus. I have to just shut it down. I have to shut it down. Shut it down. So let me just clarify. If there's things you don't participate in, then, you know, th that to me is speaking your, your, your giving, your, that, that is your vote. That is your whatever. Okay. When I have been asked this week to have a sponsor who, guys, I'm telling you right now, would absolutely, it's an incredible opportunity for anybody to have a sponsor like this. I'm not doing it. Business people would tell me, you know, well, some business people would say I was really stupid. And I'm like, well, okay. Well, I'm the one that has to live with that decision. So um, don't worry about it. I know what I need to do and what's right for me and my family. And I'm not being held to a sponsor, to a contract, um, to somebody else making my videos and messing them up. If I mess up or whatever, then that's, the, that's, that's what I have to live with. Okay. If you go to church on Sunday and you don't like what the preacher is saying, find another church. If, if your preacher, this, I'm just saying, 
if, if when you see something and you don't agree with it, back out of it. When you go to church on Easter Sunday and all they want to do is talk about how cute little babies are and they're not willing to talk about the sacrifice that Jesus gave to the nth degree and really paint the picture for everybody and then tell you how you should be preparing at the same time, you might want to find a different church. That's how I see it. Walk away and do something different. Yeah. I'm not going to stand around and fight everybody over it. Do you realize, and this is, I made a video. I tried to kind of pass this off to you all in a, in a very loving way back in like early December about all the things that were going on with ESG, right? The ESG scores. Do you know how many companies and how many things are wrapped up in all of this? It is everywhere. Y'all, it's everywhere. I'm not saying that's good and I'm not saying to accept it. What I'm telling you is, folks, we need to be consistent in understanding that don't, don't, you can't be, I, I'm, I'm against this, this company, this, I won't buy this again. But then you're all these other things you're ignoring. I'm just saying, be consistent, right? We got to be consistent. If you're going to be a warrior about it, which I'm not saying you should or you shouldn't, I'm just saying be consistent about it, right? Are you going to turn off mo a lot of country music stars right now? <laughs> I'm about to singe. I'm about to burn it right now. <clears throat> I'm going to let you come to your own conclusions. But we. I like how people bash what happened on the Grammys, but they won't speak about what's going on in country music either. Be consistent. Be consistent. Some of these country music stars that you've been listening to since you were in a diaper, are they really who you thought they were? I'm gonna let that, I'm gonna let that sit for a second. Think about it. What are they saying and what are they wearing and who are they hanging out with? So if you're going to say, I, I am never going to drink a Bud Light again, who are you listening to? Uh, you, I know that kind of rocks you back in your world, don't it? Don't it? I'm not talking about new little country stars. No, I'm not talking about kid, little country stars that could be my kids. I'm talking about people that are, have been around for generations and generations. And you sit there and, and don't you get that feeling when you're what? And you're like, I don't recall her acting like that 30 years ago. Do you? Was I just naive? What's going on here? Be consistent. Just be consistent. I'm not going to say who. I think it's more than obvious if you're awake. If you're not, if you can't see it, then keep looking. <laughs> keep looking. <laughs> it's right in front of you. I mean, if I went and did a, if I went and did a country song with um, Marilyn Manson today, you probably would be like, oh, what has happened to Patera? <laughs> he can do my makeup. <laughs> we could do it. We could do another remake of Tainted Love right now. Me, me and Marilyn, how you doing, buddy? Looking, looking fly. I'm, do you see what I'm saying? Just keep your eyes open. So all I'm saying is you have people that are like, I hate this and I'm against that and blah, 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 blah. But then they turn around and then they're still absorbed in it over here. And we're all guilty of that to a degree, okay? I'm just saying. But, but that's what I'm saying. I'm like, well, do you listen to this? And they're like, well, yeah. I'm like, do you know this, this, and this? And they're like, no. Oh, hmm. So, just, that's what I'm saying. Just be consistent. <laughs> I'm going to have to tell James that I've opened up this whole can of worms about me doing a, James, I'm going to do it. I'm going to do a duet with Marilyn Manson. How do you think that's going to come over? How, you, you, is that going to be good? 
<laughs> yeah. So listen, just stay focused because it's all a hot mess. You know it's a hot mess. There's going to be a ton more hot mess coming your way. I mean, I'm, I'm t I wake up every day. I'm like, okay, Lord, what's the hot mess going to be today? What's well, going to scramble my mind quicker than I scrambled them goose eggs this morning to eat? They were delicious. Thank you, Lord. Thank you. What's coming? Get behind me, devil. Get behind me, devil. Mama's got to go and get some more red kidney beans, baby. You know what I'm saying? Seriously. Seriously. Just be consistent. Fight the battles that you can at this time and stay focused, okay? And remember that Jesus is alive. He came out of the tomb. And you're going to be celebrating that on Sunday. You may be celebrate that 24-7. Right? Right? And for the love of everything beautiful, please pull your kids out of public school. I'm going to keep saying that. I think Marilyn Manson and I would actually probably get along pretty good. <laughs> I don't know. I could borrow his bra and he could use my hairspray. I mean, I don't know. How would that go over? <laughs> if I did that, you all would be like, <laughs> what? So that's what I'm saying. Just pay attention. Just, just look around and go, who are they singing with? And what are they singing about? And what are their public statements? And what? Yeah, so I'm just saying it's everywhere. It's everywhere. It's everywhere. I mean, are you going to throw away your KitchenAid today? I'm really serious. The, I, the reason I spawned this is because this lady wanted to know how I felt about all this. And I'm like, well, okay. You already know, but that's... I like it when people watch my channel and they're like, they're like... Who is they? I'm like, you already know. Stop playing. St this is what my daddy would say. Stop playing stupid. That's just bait. I know it is, right? It, my dad would be like, now I know you didn't. You don't play stupid. <laughs> so what I mean is, so you know you have this little guy that's now being sponsored. He's, it's a guy, okay? The little guy who he was being sponsored by all these companies right i don't know i don't it's like that it, i know it's just <laughs> it's crazy and apparently kitchen aid has sponsored him is that right crest like he's got all these sponsors nike what is it nike but anheuser bush or whatever um kitchen aid is that right that's what, it was, what i read said kitchen aid i'm like am i gonna throw away my kitchen aid today no i'm not but i'm not gonna buy another one <laughs> Right? We're going, see, this is the thing. What you're doing right now is you're getting pulled back. Well, I'm not going to talk about tampons, but okay, somebody put that on there. I mean, I already, I don't know why I wouldn't talk about tampons because I said back in my video about homeschooling, if you didn't catch it the, last week, I was like, we're not teaching our boys about tampons today. <laughs> we're talking about Civil War. And yeah, we're, t we're learning about the Civil War right now. Because we feel we're living 1860, so get I I opened up today seriously. Now I won't I didn't play the whole movie because there are some scenes that obviously I'm like no, but I I did I turned on Cold Mountain this morning. I made I was like uh, y'all gonna watch this opening scene right now. Y'all have never seen this. I know it's a movie, but I want you to watch this. This was the Civil War. <laughs> it's horrible. Watch what's going on here. Yeah, and by the way, did you learn about the rabbit? Yeah, they're going to eat rabbit for breakfast. Wild rabbit. Just let that sink in for a minute. Yeah. Yeah. Yep, yep, yep. <laughs> but yeah, here's what I'm saying. It's like, it's, it's everywhere, folks. It really, really is. And what I think is happening right now is we are being separated, whether we like it or not. It's, it's, it, it's very obvious. And so we have to pick and choose how we're going to handle that. I, I'm, I, you know what I'm doing? I'm going back it up. I'm praying about this. Take a deep breath. I'm going to run the driveway. And you know what? What do I need to do about this? Yeah, I'm going to go buy some more feed barrels. That's what I'm going to do today. Yes, I am. Yes, I am. I'm going to go through my pantry today. 
Um, and I'm going to see if I need to get something else. Um, I'm going to make a list. I'm going to, you do, I'm doing all my projects, whatever. Bring it back, bring it back. Because if you don't, the anxiety is going to take over anyway. And you, you don't, we're not doing that. You're not doing that. You're not doing that. I'm not doing it. You're not doing it. Yeah, I mean, you could go out and kid rock something if you wanted to. <laughs> Did you, you know what I said to that? Don't, don't get mad at me. Don't get mad at me. Okay, don't get mad. So when that came out, what day was that? Tuesday, the whole thing. I We were going to get, I, we went and got 50 bales of hay. Loved them, loved them back. And Gabriel and I put them up the next day, but... Um, I, I played Jay. I said, have you seen this? And he was like, and so it's the whole Kid Rock thing. And I said, <laughs> when Kid Rock is more of a, a, a moral compass or a leadership compass than leadership in this country, you better know, you better start preparing. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> Yeah, gas continues to go up. I, there's nothing going on. Why, why would you go fill up your gas tanks today? There's nothing going on. What are you talking about? You ain't got nothing to worry about. The economy's strong as heck. <sighs> I'm exhausted. Where's my ice cream? <laughs> so, guys, listen, we're having a little bit of fun. I know. But at some point, you just have to go, okay, this is, what chapter in Revelation are we in right now? Okay, I just, I had to check in on that. What a week. Yeah, gas has gone up. Um, one of the local stations was two ninety nine. dollars Now it's three thirty five. dollars um, So they're back. Some of them are still trying to stay a little bit lower. I think they're still bringing in the, the, more of the business. But um, we're anywhere now from like three oh nine to three thirty five. dollars uh, in, in, in most places around here. Yeah. So, right. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, Miss Donna, I'm, what are you making for Easter? I'm, I'm doing the entire, I'll do this live stream. I may film a dessert tomorrow, but after that, I'm probably not going to be doing anything till Monday because I'm doing all of Easter pretty much by myself. Yeah. Don't ask me. I, I'm having the whole family over. I felt like I, I I love it. So I'm going to be cooking. We're going to we're not doing uh, most of us typically here. We do um, ham, but um, I'm not doing a ham. I said I do not want anything that I would eat typically on Thanksgiving or eat, uh, Christmas. We're doing so I'm making homemade. I'm cooking pork chops, stuffing, mashed potatoes, corn, peas, salad. And I'm going to make, um, oh, and then I'm going to make a fruit salad, rolls. I thought about making cornbread or biscuits, but I'm going to cheat with rolls. I'm going to cheat. I'm going to cheat. I'm going to cheat. And then um, I'm also making my desserts tomorrow for Sunday. And I'm making an Elvis Presley cake, which I have a video on. It is so good. Oh, my gosh. It is so good. If you're going to make the Elvis Presley cake, I have a video on it. You will love it, honey. It's kind of a cross between like a... Italian cream slash hummingbird cake-ish type thing. It's so good. Make it tomorrow. Don't make it Sunday. You want to make it like tomorrow afternoon, tomorrow evening, and then let it sit. Let it sit and set up and let that pineapple all just get all yummy all up in that. Do that tomorrow. And I'm doing, oh, same thing, the coal miner cake. I'm doing coal miner cake. Make those the day before. They're better the next day. So that works out well. <clears throat> so I'm making those two tomorrow, and I've, I've debated making banana pudding. And I've debated, I'm going to make these little vanilla, like, little bunny bars or something. They're cute. There's, like, sugar cookery, cookie type thing. I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. Dep it'll depend on time. But, yeah, so tomorrow I'm cooking all, making all my desserts tomorrow and all that tomorrow for Sunday. So, yeah, I'm doing all of it. My, my, and I told my mother, I said, you just bring the deviled eggs. I said, I'm not going to make deviled eggs. I have all the eggs, but you're going to make the deviled eggs. <laughs> and, uh, you know, I'm doing everything else. I took care of it. So it's going to be good. So we're going to have a good time Sunday. But listen, <clears throat> if you're going out and you're having to get things for Sunday, get some extra preps. Get some extra preps. Get some extra preps. There's a lot of things floating around. Um, I will tell you this. 
if you have not gone and and I have he, I'm not friends with him I've never spoke to this man in my life but and every now and then I just he pops up and I listen last night Canadian prepper had a an interview with I can't remember the guy's name he's an older gentleman he's um, he was a marine uh, either fighter pilot or helicopter pilot uh, older gentleman um, highly decorated was in the Vietnam War and he has written a bunch of books and it's overall it's the video last night from Canadian prepper that's one of the best interviews I've heard it's blatant it's in your face it's here's what's happening and I was laying there going okay I don't have time to sit here and think about Bud Light <laughs> I may need a Bud Light but I ain't gonna focus on it I'm go I'm going to focus yeah I'm really serious yeah it was a great interview I uh, James has um I had I played it for James today he's heard the first half he, he was actually giggling over some of the things the guy said because he's just so blunt <laughs> did you hear what he said he's like there's a bunch of black swans like floating over our heads and we don't know which one's gonna crap first but one of them is so you better be prepared I was I thought that was see see that's what I'm saying when I go to church on Sunday I don't want I, 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 I'm serious I don't want you to baby me I don't want you to lick lick me over and you know treat me like a little kitten I want you to tell me uh get with it you know I want somebody I'm like that you know if I go to church on Sunday don't talk about how cute my shoes are and how sweet my baby is I need to know if, am I are we going to hell <laughs> I, that's just that's the way I was raised and that's how blunt everybody is that I grew up with and um, that's why all of them survive so you just got to go no mm -mm, that's wrong I'm gonna pray for you I'm gonna pray for you and I'm gonna, I'm gonna pray for you I'm gonna pray for you <laughs> I will tell you this I got up really early this morning and I was sitting there in the in the den and I was making my little uh, picture for my vanilla extract I was so tired last night I made the video and it started uploading but I, could, I was like I gotta go to bed so I made my little pick monkey this morning at 4 30 in the morning and I was sitting there and I looked over don't ask me why hi I married a Pentecostal man I did I'm serious I did I, you should know that so <clears throat> I looked over I looked over where my computer sits and and where my lamp is and call me crazy I just told James today I didn't I told James we were walking through Aldi I, I stopped at Aldi and um I said James I had a vision and he was like oh no <laughs> he's like what now I said we have to get a, another freezer and he said what for what are you gonna I said bad things are coming and he was like where when did you have this vision I said I don't I said this morning when I was making my little picture for vanilla extract it was all of a sudden it was like go get another freezer go you need to go get another freezer go get another freezer just random isn't that nice though when those happen that, that's that I do I believe I listen I, I'm, so I told you I said we have to get another freezer he was like you know I'm like I'm just laying it on you right now right right here he was like what made you I said we're in the freezing freezer section <laughs> go get another freezer yeah so I don't think that just stands for you need another freezer I think that is God saying you got to keep doing more you got to keep doing more don't 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 focus 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 it's still it, isn't that funny how God shows up like that I mean I'm sitting there the cats are fighting in the floor uh, I'm I'm irritated because my little electric blanket <laughs> isn't heated up enough I'm freezing because it's raining and I'm making my little pig monkey and it's go get another freezer I'm freezing and you tell me to go get it. I said okay so we got yeah so I don't think it's just about the freezer so well, guys, I hope you are having a fantastic, blessed afternoon. We know what today is. Uh, we always say Happy Good Friday, but we know what happened on this day. 
And yes, his name's, yeah, Bob. Yes, that's it. That's his name. I'd never seen him before. I had not seen him before. And I, oh, I clicked on it just out of curiosity. I was like, oh, I'm going to like this guy. <laughs> oh, yeah. I'm going to like this. So, yes, listen, fight the fights that matter. Stay true to you. You have a voice. If you don't like the way something's going on, back out of it. Now, if it's, it's something, if you have to stand up for yourself and stand up for your children, do it. But I'm saying, in the big scheme of things, don't get wrapped around the full axle and drain your energy. You're going to need every bit of it. You're going to need every bit of it. You're going to need every bit of it. That's what I feel I'm supposed to be saying today. So those that question me on my moral convictions on companies and all this other jazz that's going on, if I think I've cleared it up. Yep. And above all, don't be a hypocrite about it. Because just because somebody's walking around claiming to be a Christian or claiming to represent God or claiming to whatever, that may not be true. That I mean, but then again, I mean, we're all humans and we're all, we all sin and we all fail but just remember all of these things just focus yeah i gotta peel i guess i'll peel my potatoes before church on sunday that's probably what i'll do i thought about cheating and getting the scalloped potatoes at costco have you tried those i still have my membership at costco and so i i love their you can buy their little scalloped cheesy potatoes man those things are good they're good they're good. But I, then I told James, I said, nope, I'm going to peel the potatoes and I'm going to mash the potatoes. So we're good. Yes. 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 Yeah. If you want to hit the like button, great. If you don't, I ain't going to be mad at you. It is. It's going to be what it's going to be. What's it going to be? You don't like scalloped potatoes? I, see, we don't have scalloped potatoes on the... I'm trying to do non-Thanksgiving, <laughs> non-Christmas foods. <laughs> so it's like, we're going to have potatoes but not mash you know it's like we're trying to be a little bit different do it a little bit different i thought about doing a pork loin i was gonna grill out this big old pork loin i love pork loin but then i was afraid it was gonna rain it looks like the rain may move out by sunday so i i got pork chops i don't know if miss lou miss lou may come too so that's oh by the way <clears throat> i gotta say this and i gotta break <clears throat> james is probably like this is the longest video live stream jazz i've ever seen in my life but, um, I got, we went by the post office today and this, le this gal in Oklahoma sent me a trivet with the entire, I don't know if she's on here or not. Oh my gosh. It is a trivet. It's a porcelain trivet. And on the entire outside of it is the entire Cherokee syllabary. And on the flip side of it talks about the history of sequoia it is so i i, I the, oh my god gosh and remember guys i want you I, I appreciate all the cards and the presents and the easter cards and all the things you send me so please don't think i'm trying to be ungrateful but at the same time please make sure you're taking care of you that's why i'm not trying to push you to buy t-shirts with my name on it and go do this and da, 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 da. i want you it, <clears throat> If you want to support me, just be nice and help your neighbor and watch some of my videos, okay? You take care of you. I want people taking care of themselves. That's why, I, I mean, <clears throat> I think, you know, I'm not putting anybody else down for whatever they do. I'm just saying, I want you all to be taking care of you. Because, see, if you're feeding your family and you're taking care of your business, then you are helping me. You're helping my children, <clears throat> okay? You're, you doing your due diligence as on your end as a good citizen and taking care of business is doing me the best favor because you're making the world more productive and safe, and that's what I want for my boys, right? That's what we got to try to focus on. So that's that's um, <clears throat> pretty much where we're at on that. So anyway, well, I got that today, but I get I, and then I got some. Um, a lady, another lady sent me some books. I love getting the books. I, I, some beautiful Cherokee history books. Just I was just like, oh my gosh, <laughs> oh my gosh. So Miss, I hope Miss Lou gets to come on Sunday. 
Uh, we'll see if she gets to. I told her, I said, don't, I said, no pressure because she's going to church and all of that. So we will see. So listen, I love you guys. I appreciate you being here. I hope I brought clarity to wh where I am on stuff. Listen, I'm not trying to be ugly. I'm not going to. <laughs> I mean, unless it just really gets a, a be, unless it just really pokes me in the eyeball, I'm not going to be going around and saying, don't drink this, don't buy that. Don't, you guys are adults. I trust that people are adults and we'll talk about it and sprinkle it in. But guys, if all I can do for content on my channel is tell you what toothpaste brand you need to buy, then I'm not, I, I, I need to go work at the Piggly Wiggly and get, find something else better to do. So I'm trying to give you the highlight of prepare, prepare, prepare. What that means for you is different for me. So that's why I leave it open-ended like that. Uh, and as we move into more planting and spring season, we're going to get back into all of that. So, um, absolutely, absolutely. So, you know, I, I, I speak about things as I feel I'm told to, but I'm, I'm not going to be running over to the angles going, Hey, uh, you know, you can't buy this. This is not, you know, I, I, that wears me out. That wears me out. That, that totally wears me out. That does. It wears me out. It, doesn't it wear you out? It wears me out. Yeah. We have Piggly Wiggly here. <laughs> I'm not making that up. Some people think, they think like the Piggly Wiggly and Moon Pies are, are like a fake thing. I'm like, no, they're not. Lord, please don't let Moon Pies start doing something weird. My Nana will fall over. She loves Moon Pies. <laughs> Jim, you can't be serious. Jim, are you pulling my leg? Jim asked about what a Piggly Wiggly was. I am going to take that as you already know. <laughs> you don't know what the Piggly Wiggly Jim, you don't know what the Piggly Wiggly is? It's a grocery store. The Piggly You go to the pig. We don't call it, we don't call it the Piggly Wiggly. We actually call it the pig. Heading to the pig. Aren't you going to the pig? Yes, Jim. Where is Jim from? Now, if Jim says he's from Belfast, we give him a pass. <laughs> the people, yeah, yeah, yeah. If you say I'm, I'm living in Dublin, then you get a pass. Absolutely. Yes, yeah, Moon Pie, please. Dear Lord in heaven, sweet baby Jesus, eight pound baby Jesus. <laughs> Please, please don't crush my Nana and let Moon Pie do something weird. Please. Yes. That you will crush, it will crush her soul. It will crush her spirit. My Nana buys every brand, every flavor of Moon Pie that there is. She does. Every time you go to Nana's house, she's like, have you tried this flavor of Moon Pies? I'm like, Nana, that's disgusting. <laughs> she does. She gets the pumpkin spice and the... I don't know, the banana jelly and something, something, moon pie. I'm like, what is wrong with people? Stop that. Just stick with the regular little moon pie. Just, it's okay. She does. Nana, don't you be messing with her moon pies. She's, she'll drive to, honey, she'll just go whoop some butt in Chattanooga. <laughs> I got y'all tore up about the Piggly Wiggly and moon pies now, right? <laughs> Ingles okay, but they are very expensive. By the way, I'm going to drop a hint to you. If you want to go get you some keystones with the mo, um, if you want to get some keystones, everybody's asking me, where can I get keystones? The only grocery store that I know that has keystones besides Walmart is Ingles. Go check it out and get you some, get you some, get you some, put it on the shelf. You can get turkey, you can get whatever you want. Yeah, yes. Yes. Well, it's a generational thing. I'm not crazy about moon pies. I love marshmallow, but I am I have gotten so weird about chocolate. I know y'all think I'm weird, but it's like I turned 40 and all of a sudden I I'm like gum is gross and chocolate is hit or miss. Isn't it weird? Women all the women in the house are going 
Yeah, I, I, didn't you? It's so weird. It really is strange what happens to us women, right? Aldi has great chocolate. Uh, okay, okay, okay. It just depends on the chocolate. It depends. It just depends. I hate hot fudge. <laughs> I do. I know. Don't I know. Everybody just gasped and rolled down the driveway. They cannot believe it. I do. I don't eat hot fudge. Uh-uh. Like, I like certain chocolate ice creams if they have marshmallow in it. But I don't, I'm, I'm no, I don't know what happened. I just got real weird. And smells, oh my gosh. I had to run out of the Aldi today. My neck turned red because some lady was wearing, honey, she was, she was wearing Tinkerbell perfume. It about kills me. We've talked about this before. I turn into the Hulk. If somebody's wearing a certain scent, like Giorgio type smell perfume, I can, I can be at the entryway of Aldi. And Mamaw can be all the way back where the cheese aisle is. And I can smell her. And my eyes start turning laser beam red. <laughs> James is like, because I'll tell James, I'm like, we got to get out of here. He's like, you smell it? Because he, he can smell it too, but he, he waits for me to like freak out. And I'm like, I'm, I get, oh man, oh, uh-uh, no, I don't come near it. I won't, I won't. And I never, I can't do essential oils anymore. Mm-mm, ugh. <laughs> I can't. Like, I have thieves, and I can do, if I, if I don't feel well, I'll sort of sniff thieves a little bit out of the bottle, but if I, like, let it illuminate through the house, I'm just going to go live in the barn. Illuminate, is that the, that's not even the word. I'm serious. If you come at me wearing patchouli, I'm going to put you in a headlock. <laughs> uh-uh. I can't. I can't do it. I, diffuser. That's what the word I was like. What, what did I say? Illuminate? What, I don't know. No, I'm serious. I get like, I get mean. I'm like, I do. I can't do it anymore. I don't know if they've changed things or if I'm just getting old. Well, you can probably tell all these gray hairs. I told my daddy last night, I'm like, Dad, I'm gonna be gray. I'm gonna have more gray hair than you. Shh, you have no idea. Yes. Oh, patchouli. <laughs> oh no, no, no. It doesn't smell bad, but it's like my whole like my face blows up, my neck turns red, like right now. Look at that. I do. My ears close off. I start turning colors. I mean, I'm, oh, oh, and what is that stuff those boys wear? Axe? Oh, no. Like, you can just walk by me, and I'm like, I'm going to start speaking in tongues right now just talking about it. I'm serious. I can't do it. Yes. And there's certain deodorants now, like the Arm & Hammer or something. I'm like... I can't talk to you. <laughs> Might be menopause. Could be. Well, if I'm in menopause, then I've been in menopause for a very long time. <laughs> and my doctors <laughs> like have not confirmed that. So I, I don't know what happened. I'm just like allergic, I guess. It's the chemicals, I think. It's just chemicals. It was before COVID. I would like to blame COVID for that. I blame COVID for a few things, but it, this was before COVID. Yes, it was before COVID. It, it was called turning 40. <laughs> oh. oh, permeate. There's another word. See, I love it. I've got all these mamas. I do. They, they, they help me out. They help me out. Oh, axes. Don't be wearing that crap, dude. Just go, just, just, no, you don't have to. I don't understand why all these women are wearing these crazy perfumes. I had to run out of Aldi. <laughs> I did. I was like, we got to get out of here. <laughs> because here's the problem. I think you all agree. Once you smell it, like if you're sitting in a, like the worst is when, I've had to move tables at a restaurant before. They'll sit us down and I look at James, I'm like, Mm -mm. He's like, you're going to get sick? I'm like, I'm going to get violent. 
I have to be, I'm serious. Oh, at church, I don't know what's worse at church. The stinky perfume or the crackling of the gum. Do you know, you know, you know the woman that's, con it, it, it's just, oh my great grandmother would take her pinky right now and she would catfish that piece of gum out of your mouth so fast your head would spin ma'am don't do that <laughs> oh it's like this and they and they roll it and crack it oh don't I'm like the I'm like Satan has shown up today in church. <laughs> Don't do that. I got to tell you that you're going to get mad at me. Don't get mad at me. Please Lord, I'm going to make him, I'm going to make him mad. So I was sitting at church one day and there was this little old lady. Don't get mad at me. Please Lord, don't let him get mad. At me. This, I, I could not, I was distracted in church. I was sitting there, and there was this lady sitting up in front of me. She's a great person. She really is. I love her. She turned her head. She turned her head like this, like she she's looking at something, right? She's, and she had her fake eyelashes on. I am not kidding. They were standing out like this. And I said... <laughs> All I could think about at that point forward, I was like, Lord, please stop. Please stop. I'm, I'm thinking of Home Alone and the tarantula, and I'm in church, and Lord, I got tarantulas and bubblegum pops all around me right now. I am not feeling, I, 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 the Holy Ghost is going to have to intervene on me. Right, If somebody comes in right now wearing patchouli, I, I'm, we're going to have to have revival up in here. <laughs> She, I was like, God, love it. What? She, I'm not joking. Those were the biggest eyelashes I have ever seen in my life. She did. She turned her head, and I love her, okay? And I don't have the heart to say something because I was raised to have manners. Now, I'll talk about it right here with you. And be, I'm not actually saying who it is or anything, so I'm just saying. She did. She turned her head, and it was like, she, that is, she had on the, I don't know how she got them on. Does it, I mean, I was actually wondering if it took Gorilla Glue to do that because that, I would poke my contacts out. I've never put on fake eyelashes. Not that I'm saying they're, you're going to, you know, not go to heaven if you wear fake eyelashes, but I'm just saying, I was like, is that Gorilla? How do you keep those things on? Is that Gorilla? I'm, when I do my duet with Marilyn Manson, I'm going to ask them. I am. I'm going to. Marilyn, how do you keep them things on? I mean, is there a, we got like some bond glues down here at the house. I've got gorilla glue on, in my pantry, you know, cause we work, we're worried about emergencies and stuff. So do you put a little flex seal on top of that too, just to keep them solidified? How do you keep them on? That's going to be our, that's going to be our conversation. It's going to be our conversation. Oh, you want me to ask Dylan? Bless his soul. I will give that little critter um, a, a, a one good, I will say one, I will give that man a compliment. He has the prettiest teeth. I don't know if he had them filed, because he's all, you know, he's always doing all that. And I'm like, dang it. He does have pretty teeth. <laughs> I don't know, y'all. Just keep. <laughs> I'm not kidding. She turned her head in church. I was distracted. I was distracted. P between eyelashes, patchouli, axe, and popping gum, I, you knew, I was like, somebody help me out here. <laughs> appreciate you. I'm not going to make a video, talk about all this stuff. I was going to, and I was like, no, we're just going to talk about it live. Well, I don't
don't have a problem with it. I don't want anybody to think I'm being mean, but I, you know, there are certain points where you go, are, is that supposed to look natural? I'm confused by that. I would poke my eyeball out. Listen, I tried, I put my contacts in the other day and one of them split in half in my eyeball. I had one part of the, I, oh, that is scary. I had one half fall out and I was like doing this the whole time for like 15 minutes. I was trying to find the other half and I was like, I'm not poking myself in the eyeball already than I already do. Finally, it came down and I got it out. That was so scary. I'm like, am I going to be living? How am I supposed to go clean my barn today if I can't see what I'm doing? I did. It. I don't know what happened. As soon as I popped it in there, it popped in half. and ha I saw half fall into the bottom. and then I That hurts. I don't want to lose an eyeball. I don't want to lose an eyeball. That's, that's no good. Even James would tell you if James was sitting, he's like, "Don't, don't, don't, don't encourage her to do that. She'll poke her eyeball out." I can tell you what my husband's gonna say. He's like, "It's not about how it would look or look good or bad or indifferent. She'd poke her eyeball out." Have you seen Patera? She runs into fences. Patera's got scars all over her. Yeah, yeah. I mean, she is scarred like. Look at this thing it's bubbling up like a big old. I, she pops herself in the eyeball. Don't do. Don't don't put any pressure on the poor thing. <laughs> oh, I will tell you this. I got to get James a kilt because all he talks about with everybody is how Scottish he is. Have I told you this? We've talked about that. That's all he says. Lou is loving it. Because she'll talk about, I've told you this, she'll talk, he, like today, he's like, I'm, like, yesterday, he's like, I'm getting a kill. And I'm like, darn right you are. <laughs> I'm eating his gum. Mm-hmm. Oh, he wants a kill. We gotta get him a kill. We've gotta get him a kill, y'all. No! Him, James in a kilt? Is too far? What? Have we talked about that too? I hate gum. Well, well. I know. I turned weird. James needs a kilt. That's his answer to everything. He's like, I don't care. I'm Scottish. He that, that's his answer to everything. Like to me, I'm like, I don't care because I've got the I've got the Lord Jesus on my side. And he's told me to tell everybody and to testify and 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 and, and James is like, I'm Scottish. Well, Patty, we're not going to talk about that, Patty. <laughs> Patty's going to get me in trouble on my live stream. <laughs> Are you saying it's going to be a little airish for James? <laughs> I'm going to tell him that when I go in. I'm going to say, James, James. He knows, but I'm going to be like, I just want you to know. <laughs> He's going to be, it's, it's going to feel a little Irish. <laughs> He'll be like, that's all right. Because I'm Scottish. That's all he does. It's crazy. It's, it's, he does that to make me giggle. Clearly it works. It does. Clearly it works. <clears throat> Yeah, it's a little Irish up in here. Well, I'll tell you this, and I'm gonna go. So my now, don't get upset with me, cause I know y'all get how y'all is, and I'm gonna get lectured. Cause you mamas look after me. One of my other boys begged to get a DNA test done. He did. <laughs> I'm telling you right now. I am the most mixed-blooded woman you've ever seen on the planet, and I have passed it to every one of my kids. <laughs> I'm telling you, it's a beautiful thing. It's a beautiful thing. I, I pulled him over. I said, remember when I showed you my DNA and your mamaw's DNA and your aunt's DNA and your brother's DNA? I said, no, look at your DNA. You won't question it anymore? He's like, yeah. Yes. Yes. He, yeah. 
We are all just a beautiful mix, blooded people. Yeah. <laughs> I said, you're not as Scottish as your daddy. <laughs> yeah. Yes, that's right. Yes. It is a beautiful thing. I'm very proud of it. I am hoping and praying that with all of my research that I find, I'm going to say this very openly. I've said it before. I've made a video on it. And I hope you, if you're in the same boat, <clears throat> I hope that if you have people in your life that it's a sort of a, um, you, you know that, you know you may have African American in you, and but you can't locate the person. So I, I'm endlessly, I, I have two lines that I have solidified in where it's coming from. But I hope before I, I hope before my spirit splits the sky that, uh, I figure that one little mystery out because I think that would be incredible. I want to know the story of that indiv of these individuals. I want to know. I really want to know. You know it. I really want to know. Yeah, I don't have a lick of German. <laughs> I don't have any German. No German. No German. No German. That I know of. I mean, the thing is, is DNA is so complex that you may have something. It's just not, it depends on how the test in the site area and how many symptom organs and all of that. Yes. I wish I could tell you more. It's been a, a wonderful journey because it's been able to answer a lot of questions about things. But as far as who exactly, I, th I mean, I, I want to be careful what I say because I'm very honest about it, but at the same time, I, I won't go into full details, so therefore details get left out, and then somebody takes me out of context, and then it's like, you're this. I'm like, well, I'm not self-hating, so that's not true. So, right. You know what I'm saying? So, there's nothing wrong with you being German. Ever, we're all from around the world. There's all kinds. This world has been intermixed hardcore, particularly here for the last mm, 300 plus, 400 years. So, I mean, it is what it is. I just want to know the story of my ancestors, every single one of them. I just, it's just amazing to me. And like I said before, the reason I love that so much is because um, these people made it. That's why you're here. Right? Right? So, well, I'm going to go in here and tell James that we're all trying to work out a kilt for him. And uh, he's just, he, I, I'll tell you right now, he's got his, I, I'm telling you right now, he's probably reading an article. James is a big reader. And he has his little, he has his little glasses on. He's going to look up and he's going to go, you were talking about me? <laughs> yes. 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 Oh, patchouli. Somebody said it. Yeah. All right, guys, listen, have a wonderful Easter weekend. I'll try to get back in the swing of videos come Monday. I'm going to enjoy the weekend. I'm going to be cooking and cleaning for the next tonight and tomorrow. And uh, if I put a video up, then um, then um, it'll just be an extra, you know, at this point. And uh, we're going to enjoy family and family time and enjoy um, the holiday and the Easter for what it is and, and rejoicing in the resurrection. Yeah. Oh, yeah. You want me to go to church, pop my gum? Yeah. I'm just telling you. I'm telling you right now. If I was in public and I was cracking my gum like that, my great-grandmother, my Nana's mother, she would have had a fit. <laughs> I, she was very mannerly. Very mannerly. And I'm telling you, you don't... You don't smack your lips, you don't pop your gum, and you don't, yeah, uh, oh, if you were sitting at the dinner table, and you smacked your lips while you were eating, uh -uh. no, 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 massive no, no, didn't matter how poor she was, she was very mannered, no, 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 stop, oh, you better, close your mouth when you eat. close your mouth when you eat. I mean, it was, you knew that as a little baby. You knew you didn't do that. Yes. All right, guys. I hope we had fun today. I hope I cleared some things up. Yeah, Miss Tam, no way. And that was a big no-no. Mm-mm. Mm-mm. No. Mm-mm. Mm-mm-mm. <laughs> no. No. Yes. 
no let lips smacking gum popping stinky perfume and <laughs> ma'am i'll cut that out honey <laughs> yes don't oh elbows on the table uh, no no i would love to see what she would think about cell phones and iPhones and all that. I bet that would have made her so mad. I, I bet it would. See, she passed long before, the, you know, we really were. To, yeah, I bet she would absolutely have had a fit. Uh, no, no, no elbows on the table. Uh-uh. No, 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 no. That's a, that's a triple no-no. Yeah, don't smack your lips. Say, yes, ma'am, thank you. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. You prayed before you eat. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Mm -hmm. You used your knife and your fork. You you know, you, 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 oh, yeah. 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 All of those things. It was, it was good. So I hope we're all trying to teach everybody else those things. Oh, you did not have hair in your face, Jennifer. No. I've told this story. No, no, no. I had bangs up to here. <laughs> My great grandma, my Nana's mom, I, I talk about this all the time with my Nana because she loves it because it was her mama and she loved her mama. We all loved her mama. My, my great grandmother is who I was sitting with the day I got saved. I should put that up because I have her Bible. And the day I got saved, she wrote it. So I sat growing up a lot of times with my great grandmother. And um, the day I got saved, <clears throat> we, I was sitting there. And I got saved in September, and I remember sitting there, and she looked over at me, and, she, and I, I, t I was explaining to her what I was feeling, and she said, Baby, go to the altar. So I went to the altar the moment I was saved because of my great-grandmother, right? The same woman who I'm telling you about. I mean, she was so loving. I mean, she was strict on certain things, but she was so loving. But... No, you did not. Have, when your bangs started to grow down, I had little bangs, and when they would grow down just to start touching your little eyebrow, honey, she's going to take you back there in the bathroom, and she's going to plop you up on top of her uh, avocado green countertop, <laughs> whatever. I think it was white. It was the sink that might have been avocado. The tub was avocado. And she took out these, I, I have never found a pair of scissors like this again in my life. They looked like they would be something that you would use to like ca like to castrate a bull. I don't know where she got the, the biggest set of scissors <laughs> I have ever seen in my entire, they, I could go out and trim a tree with them. The bit, they were almost like garden shears, but they weren't. They were like stainless steel and they were dull. <laughs> And she'd run that blade like I mean, like she knew she knew she's well. It was it was they were as big as Edward Scissorhands, and she would run. Did she? Did they do this to you too? And you better sit there. And she she'd take that comb and she'd sniff and she'd she'd part your hair and she she she'd do all this and she'd bring them bangs down. And honey, suddenly you had the scissor on your head, <laughs> and she'd run that scissor across. Choom. Chum, chum. I mean, and they're and they're like up to here, you know. It's like this. Boom. I'll have to show you pictures. It was quite traumatic at some point, and it was boom, boom. And they were the dull. It looked like a dog chewed on them, really. But she was, and she'd sniff, and she'd she'd do them down. She always she, okay, you know. She wouldn't cut anything else. It was just the bangs. Those are the best days, weren't they? Good? I'll have to find you a pic. I did. I had a, I, I, and I don't know why they grew. Why my family had bangs on my head? Because I've got a cow lick. Y'all know what a cow lick is. Look, I got the. It, my hair looks awful today. I have a cow lick. I'm like, why did you all fight me to have bangs? Like till I was like 13 years old, when it was one half of it was sticking up like this. <sighs> yeah, that's why I don't wear bangs. I tried cutting bangs a couple of years ago, and they were doing this. And I was like, forget it. Ain't going to work. Sister, ain't bangs are so cute. I can't do them because I got this big old cow. I look like a cow lick on my head. I do. I have a cow lick. I've always had it. <laughs> it's Yeah. 
Somebody, a bunch of y'all are sitting there going, what's a cow lick? Hey, Jeb. Jeb. Hey. Did your mom ever tell you what, has your mom ever talked to you about what a cow, what's a cow lick? Is, did that happen to you in the field? I mean, did the cow lick her head and her hair sticking up? What's she talking about? Jeb. You're not paying attention, Jeb. Yeah, y'all got real quiet. They were going, what's a cow lick? See, you get, an, you get a cultural experience here. We talked about all the woke stuff. We've talked about moon pies. We've talked about um, Marilyn Manson. We've talked about country music stars losing their minds. We've talked, what else have we talked about today? We've talked about gum cracking, crack a lacking, stinky patchouli. <clears throat> We've talked about DNA experiments. I mean, we you have a full, oh, oh we've talked about, <laughs> you have a full experience here. It's just well, wrapped. Oh, we forgot about, James is going to feel a little Irish soon in his kilt. See, yeah, full, it's all, it all comes full circle. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Oh, uh, well, okay, you brought it on. Who talked about the bo best life ever? Okay, final story, and I'm shutting up. Gotta go, gotta go, gotta go, gotta go. The house is not gonna clean itself. You know those men in my house are not cleaning it right now. You know they're not. You know it. I ain't gonna lie to you. You know they're not. When I come in there, I'm like, okay, Um, all these people are showing up day after tomorrow. Yep, mm -hmm. James, go, get your, pick up your kilt. Uh, listen, so the same memo, my great-grandmother, Well, I wanted to get a perm. Every girl in the 80s just about probably had a perm. Many of you had beautiful, big, white snake, Bon Jovi hair that everybody else was crazy jealous of, right? Patera could never pull that off, okay? Patera has thin, straight, stick hair with a cowlick, okay? And her mamma chews her hair off with these scissors that look like that just went out and like pruned all the... Um, Raspberry bushes, okay? Uh, okay, so, but Patera wanted to go get a perm. My first perm. She took me to the, it was the orange curl. Is that, was that it? Was that the name of it? The, did y'all have that? The orange curl? Is that right? Yep. And I, she said, she took me and I sat down. And I just wanted, my hair was a little bit longer. See, I still had my little bang. I had my little bangs on the cowlick. But my hair was kind of shoulder length. You know, the rest of it, kind of shoulder length. And I just wanted, I wanted to be like, this was before Top Gun. You know, when everybody wanted to look like Kelly McGillis from Top Gun. Y'all remember those days. Man, was, was that not hot? I know, we were great. I wanted a little body wave. You know, I just wanted to, you know... Those eyelashes are magnets. Shut up. No, they're not. Are you kidding me? Wait a minute. You just distracted me. I can get squirreled real easy. What? They're magnets? You're lying. Tell me you're lying. <laughs> I ain't putting no magnet up in my eyeball. I can't even put in a contact lens. I'm... What is she talking about? Marilyn, you're going to have to jump in here and talk about this. But listen. No, they're not. No, they're not. No, 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 no. Don't ruin my day. Are you kidding me? They're magnets. See, y'all think that I'm so, like... <laughs> so, I guess you put a strip of something on there... To then attach the magnet. So now I'm going to be thinking about tarantula magnets. I mean, th this is not going to work out. Well. I'm going to have nightmares tonight. Y'all know how I feel about spiders? Y'all saw what I did to my garden two years ago. I blew it up. Did y'all not see that? I can't do that. Did you know that? I'll get back to my story in a second. Did y'all know that? That garden right there, ha they had this landscaping material down, which I do think is I think I think this is that's from Satan's workshop. 
black woven weave landscape material is from the devil's workshop. It ain't from Santa's workshop. It's from the devil's workshop because it attracts black widow spiders. And I went up there and I'm pulling this stuff up. And the biggest, I had a Holy Ghost revival right here in the yard. You all would have been like, somebody better get the water hose and start spraying her down. Patera's going to have a stress attack, right? I did. I reached down and I pulled that black, that tarp up. The biggest black widow spider you've ever seen in your life emerged from the depths. I was like, Satan's sister. No. I blew that whole garden up. I, <laughs> I set the whole thing on fire. No. If you like spiders, good on you. I've been bit. I ain't being bit. I know what that's like. But my leg about fell off. I'm not doing I did. I have a video on it. <laughs> I made a video out of it. That's why I was like, don't do the black woven weave landscaping material. This is what you get in East Tennessee with black woven weave landscaping material. You get black widows with lots of babies. Mm-mm. No. No. I guess I'll die another day. I ain't doing it. I did. I, I did. I blew that thing. James was like, what are you? I'm like, I'm blowing it up. <laughs> yeah. I'm going to look like I'm on like a video. I'm going to throw the match. Yeah, and it's going to go right behind me. Yes, I did. I know how to, I can't, I blew it up. <laughs> it's right over there, I blew it up. So anyway, yeah, don't, oh, now I've got tarantulas and magnets and black widows and I now I can't drink Jack Daniels. What are we going to do about this? <laughs> so anyway, so here's the deal. So I go into the orange curl with my great grandmother, right? And I'm like, I want a perm. I want a perm. I want a perm. Oh, they gave me a perm all right. I don't know where in the conversation it came into to where my grandmother told the poor girl at the orange curl. She wants to look like little orphan Annie. Have you seen Annie a couple of years ago? She, yeah, it's her favorite movie. I know she's not wearing the little red dress with the collar. But I want you to cut all her hair off and I want you to perm it. And I want her to look like little, I did, I looked like Annie. I cried my eyes out, y'all. So, my great-grandmother had one flaw. <laughs> hair, she, I'm glad she wasn't a hairdresser. <laughs> no, I did not, I did not have Farrah Fawcett. No, 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 no. Ask my mother. My mother will tell you, I never saw my child so upset. I walked out of there. I was, I did, I was traumatized that day. I've not gotten over it since. I did. I had, I looked like I should be in, actually, I could have gone and tried out at the Broadway show. <laughs> they could have just colored it red. I mean, it was like, I did. I looked like Annie. I was like, this is not what I came here for. <laughs> I'll try to find a picture if I've got one. I, I, I did. I, 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 yeah, I did. I, I, I felt like Orphan Annie that day. I was all alone. I was, I was looking for Carol Burnett. I couldn't cut it off. She cut it off. I had to let the whole thing grow back out. And it was so cute before. <laughs> yeah, it was bad. The, lucky for me, I don't hold perms in my hair. So it, that only lasted like three weeks or something. I was traumatized. It's just like seeing a black widow. And there's, yeah, yeah. I did. I did. I look like you have no idea. It's so bad. <laughs> but she gets that pass because she was good for it with everything else. Magnet particles are in the eye. Magnet particles are in the eyeliner. That sounds. That sounds odd. Y'all say hi to Carl, Miss. I guess it's is it. Is it Carl? Now, see, when I say Carl, I sound like I'm off in The Walking Dead. So I probably didn't say it right. <laughs> Carl. <laughs> yeah. Yes. Well, guys, you guys are awesome. We still have over 2,000 people here, and I appreciate you so much for hanging out with me. Maybe we've, we've had some stress relief. You're not out fighting traffic. Yes. 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 Yes, yes, you're not out fighting traffic. It was really bad today. Everybody's out prepping. 
<laughs> Everybody's gone to get their stuff. That apparently has come out that a lot of people are doing that. That's good. That's good. Yes. All right, guys. Listen, y'all be good. Have a great weekend. Stay focused. Don't let people derail you. That's what they're trying to do. That's what they're trying to do. Stand up for what's right. Get away from it. Pray and stay focused. That's where you need to be right now. Oh, no. She got her taxes done. Taxes and, and spiders go hand in hand. Pretty much. How did you feel about paying your taxes today? Are you sending it to Xanadu? <laughs> <coughs> We are so glad you saw the tax man. I hear Xanadu needs some more stuff. Yeah. 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 Yep. Not going to say anything about that any further. Yep. Get your any hair curled going on and <clears throat> put on your little roller skates and sing Xanadu because that's where your tax dollars just went to. That $2.6 billion. Yeah. Stay focused. All right, guys. Tenth time. I, I, I know. 80 minutes in. I said it's going to be a short live stream. But we have fun. So that's good. Tax time. Why can't they print my... Oh, yeah. I, that's what I'm guessing. I'm like, y'all just free printing money. Just print mine off. <laughs> Just print it. What, what, it, what difference does it make? <laughs> what difference does it make? <clears throat> Wits talk about hard boiled eggs. I'm trying to go in the house. What, what, how are we talking about hard boiled eggs? <clears throat> Did I miss something? I'm not making, I'm not doing the eggs this year. My mother is. I said, you can make your, you, you, you make the stinky eggs and we'll all eat them. We've got all kinds of, oh, Nick, Nick, is it Nicola? Like Ricola? So I should I be like, Nicola. It's okay. If it's okay. Don't think I'm making fun of your name because I'm not. My name is Patera. My mother named me Patera from the 21st chapter of Acts and nobody can say my name right. So I've lived that all my life. It's quite all right. My, anytime somebody looks at them, they're like, your name is, I'm like, my mother did it. <laughs> is your name Paturia Patara Potahara? How do you spell, how do you say, how do you pronounce your name, honey? I'm like, my mother did that to me. Blame my mama. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. She did. <clears throat> Well, it's be I was almost a Britney. I am not a Britney. I can't find the, the, my lid. I'm not a Britney. No, I'm not. I'm not. I'm not a Britney. James Appalachia's homestead with Britney just doesn't seem to have the same ring to it, now does it? <laughs> Although I do get a lot of people that are from, and I, this is not people from the Middle East are like it, it does confuse people. I, I do confuse, I was, so I went to, uh, we were sitting at a restaurant, uh, this has been about a month ago, and it was packed, James and I went went to get a hamburger, and the, the, it was packed, and I said, well, we'll just sit at the bar, I don't care to sit at the bar, I'll sit at the bar, you get better service at the bar anyway, so I, so we were eating, well, this guy was sitting next to me, he played, he played at the University of Tennessee football, he did, oh, man, Oh, man, <clears throat> we hit it off. We did. We hit it off. We were talking about all kinds of stuff. I mean, and he's young, right? And he looked up. He said, what? He said, what? He said, said ma'am, what is your name? And I said, Patera. He said, what's your name? <laughs> I said, Patera. He said, you from here? <laughs> I said, yep. Yeah. I said, my mama did it. My mama did it. Yeah. 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 All right, guys. I am going to go back to the house. I love you guys. Is, is your name, what is her name? Okay, there's another good name. 
I like it. We need to just, hey, we're just in the world of confusion. So we started it. Did we start it? Our mamas started it, right? Mom did it. Mom did it. Well, mother was debating. Mom thought, liked Brittany. And then she liked Portia Patera. She liked Portia Patera. And when she was in the hospital having me, the nurse talked her out of Portia. I'm not joking. <laughs> Don't name that child Portia. It was going to be Portia Patera. And the, the nurse was like, you ain't going to do that. True story. She's like, you, you ain't going to do that. You ain't going to name that baby Patera. <laughs> I mean, Portia. So my name is Patera. Yeah, my middle name is Noel. Okay, so my middle name is Noel. You spell it backwards, it's my dad's name, Leon. We are, y'all, we are so smart. We are. I am not joking. So my middle name is Noel. And if you spell it backwards, it's Leon, which is my daddy's name. And St. Nicholas was born in the city of, I don't think they call it Patera. Patera is a city in Turkey now. Yeah. So I named my first child Nicholas after St. Nicholas. <laughs> I know I do love the name Noel. You could just call me Noel. Appalachia's homestead with Noel. My name is my middle name is Noel. Patera Noel. It's like a little Christmas song. Yeah. Then I just got a plain Jane English name for my my maiden name. <laughs> I original the original name is Milton. Yeah, I've been able to take my dad's surname and and we've been able to go back to I'm at 1598 in England with my dad. Mhm. Mm yep. Yes, <clears throat> it's all A's in that name. Don't you be putting no E's up in it. Nuh-uh. Don't be putting no E's up in my name. We all A's. We're straight A's, people. <laughs> We're straight A's. Yeah, I, mom did good. It did. It turned out so much better. Well, here's the thing. She didn't know that. She didn't think about. She. I don't know how she came. I really don't know where she came up with Noel because she didn't realize that it was my dad's name backwards until it was done. Isn't that weird? She really didn't know. Yeah. Yes, Milton. Milton. Yes. So I've been able to go all the way back. I'm. I'm back to fifty. I, I worked a long time on that one. Because my dad wanted me to. He was like, have you worked on my side? <laughs> I'm like, oh, more than you know. <laughs> dad. Yeah. Yes. Yes. <clears throat> yes. So all my English blood's coming from my daddy. For the most part. Yes. Yes. How often should I rotate my sock pile? Huh? Huh? Well, I guess when you get holes in them. <laughs> what kind of question is that? I'm not being ugly. I must have missed part of the... She asked about her socks. What's she talking about her socks? Have you got stinky feet? Do you need to rotate? I don't know what she's... <laughs> Listen, if you want to wear eyelashes, you go on and wear your eyelashes. I'm just teasing you. Okay? It's just a funny point for me. I'm not mad at you because you wear eyelashes. She said, stop. <laughs> oh, I thought she said socks. Did she say socks or stop? <laughs> I was like, well, that's a good question. <laughs> I thought it said, did, I think it said sock. Did it not say sock? I, I think she did too. I'm just making, I'm teasing. Don't get mad at me. Don't get mad. Don't get mad at me. Well, you, you got, listen, we've learned from great men in the past. It, warriors, you better have a lot of good socks. They're everything. You don't want stinky feet. You don't want something growing up in there. You got to have good socks. Are you buying extra underwear and socks right now? You should be. You got to keep everything high and tight and dry. He <laughs> did say sock. I was like. Well, I wouldn't want him to be stinky or too holy, maybe. James gets mad at me, though, because I, I will wear socks with holes in them. I am not highfalutin. He, he, my husband, who wears the same three shirts every day of his... He does. He wears the same... That man, thank God. We, I mean, seriously. 
he's like, would you stop, baby? Why are you wearing those socks? I'm like, I'm wearing them out. He's like, Patera, half of your foot is sticking out of the sock. I'm like, so? I don't complain about your holy underwear, so stop complaining about my socks. <laughs> See, he's already getting primed for the kilt. Yeah. See, he's he's already Irish. <laughs> he does. That may, I'm like... He is so concerned about my, he is. I don't know what his fixation is. We're going to have to ask him on a live stream. Yeah, he does. He's like, Patera. He doesn't call me Patera. He does not call, it, the only time James calls me Patera is when he's either mad or <clears throat> he has grave concern that I'm about to like poke my eyeball out or something. That's it. Like we were building a greenhouse. He's like, Patera. I'm like, uh. I better pay attention to holding this up. That, yeah, that's that. He does not call me. He calls me baby. I'm baby. I'm baby. Or honey sometimes. I'm baby. Baby. But yeah, when he says Patera, that's how he knows to get my attention. And he's like, Patera. What is. I know you have more socks than that. And I'm like, I'm saving them. James, if the world's going to collapse and we're going into a depression, I've got to have good socks. So right now, while the getting is good, I'm going to wear all my old ones that I, I can. <laughs> What's wrong with my socks? He does, he does not like it. So now that we've got into sock piles and stock piles, it's all relatives. I, I would be rotating all of my sock and stock piles. How often? I would be checking, I would be checking your pantry monthly, weekly. It's constant. It's not, that's the thing. You don't just stick it in there and walk away. Some things you can to a degree, but you've got to keep working it. You just got to keep do, 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 do. Yes. I do. I wear holy socks. They don't match and they're inside out and they're holy. Well, now today I'm being good. I didn't want him upset. I didn't want James upset. I didn't want to be walking around and he looks down and I've got my little, my little, I've got these little old shoes on and I don't want my heels sticking out. And he's going to be like, Patera, I know you've got more socks, pairs of socks than that. I'm like, no, I don't. Nope. Nope. I'm going to wait. So now it's become like a mission. I'm going to wear holy socks. Yes. There ain't nothing wrong with that. Honey, I wear, well, I wear my socks out because, see, I wear certain types of socks and my boots wear them out. So, my, I, I know what happens. I know what happens. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. <laughs> so, speaking of, though, no joke, be looking at your socks, be looking at your underwear pile. Do you need to go get another, you know what I'm saying? You need some more socks? You need some more? My phone's going to die. My phone's going to die. Yeah. You, do you need? Yes, you do. Oh, and we'll see now. I just enjoy wearing holy socks just to see if he'll say something. <laughs> They're so holy. <clears throat> yeah, yeah. Be checking, be checking your sock pile and your underwear pile and your brassiere pile. And um, all of the all those important things, guys and gals, that you need, you might want to go get you a few extra. Yes. Yes. All right. Well, I'm gonna go. Thank goodness I don't have to cook dinner because I put it in the crock pot earlier uh, this morning. So that's good. Oh, just wear them out. Just wear. It. Why am I going? Well, I've got to go to my house and go eat. <laughs> That's where I'm going. <laughs> yeah, I'm going to go feed all my men in the house. I'm having Mississippi, uh, Mississippi pot roast tonight. Yes. Mississippi pot roast. No, I'm not fasting today. No, no, I'm not. No, I'm not. <clears throat> all right guys we will talk to you later enjoy your evening have a great easter okay yes thank you for keeping me around <laughs> don't worry don't worry about the nonsense just stay focused i do too i love mississippi pot roast it's so good yummy 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 for my tummy oh my gosh y'all be good
Stay focused. Talk to y'all later. Have a good Easter. Bye. <laughs>